For over 25 years, Gilead Sciences has been committed to addressing areas of unmet medical need. Now, we are building a pipeline of novel oncology therapies for a range of cancers. To learn more about Gilead's pipeline in oncology, please visit booth 3428 or go to gilead.com. Gilead, advancing therapeutics, improving lives. Welcome to New Orleans. This unique city is host of the 55th annual American Society of Hematology Meeting and Exposition at the Ernest N. Morial Convention Center. Trainee events and workshops are well underway as we kick off the ASH Annual Meeting. I'm Ed Hyland and you're watching ASH News TV. For the first time, ASH is bringing you video highlights from each day of the annual meeting. We are, of course, honored to be a part of the premier hematology event of the year. And to kick it all off for us, we're also honored to be joined now by the president of ASH, Dr. Janice Apkowitz. And thank you so much, uh, Jan. If you would, uh, give us an idea, if you would, uh, of, of how important it is for people to be here. I'm just so glad that everyone's here in New Orleans. It's a fantastic meeting. We're the premier society for clinical hematology, for basic research. And, of course, that means translation between the two. And it's just wonderful to have everyone here in New Orleans with us and uh, celebrating our 55th annual meeting and seeing the great science and great clinical work ahead. Let's talk a little bit about all the new things and there's, there's a plethora of things out there that are going to be different and new for the attendees. There is a, a huge number of them, uh, lots of new features this year, so let me just tell you about a few. Um, first, uh, check out the uh, Coulter Symposium. So uh, this is would have been Wallace Coulter's uh, 100th birthday and so to celebrate his innovation and his entrepreneurship, we are having a special symposium where two of our members, uh, Dr. St uh, Stuarkin and Dr. Bruce Boitler, are going to talk about what they think hematology might look like in the future and how specifically molecular biology and immun immunology and the immune system and the immune system might impact the way we treat patients ahead. And so I think that's a really special thing. It's right before the plenary session. It's a wonderful thing to check out. So, and so another really wonderful thing is the featured topics. When we were putting together the meeting um, back in September, we recognized that there was a real lot of abstracts this year on CAR cells and their impact on immunotherapy, and a lot of abstracts on hemostasis and thrombosis with new targets, and particularly the problem of the long-acting anticoagulants and how they might be reversible. And so we put together featured topics where discussants will discuss oh, maybe eight or ten abstracts in each of these fields, and then end with what do we know, what we need to know next, and why is it important for the clinician. How about the Presidential Symposium? The Presidential Symposium is one of my favorites, and that's one of the few things that Ash, the President, gets to do all by themselves. And so this year, our topic is uh, genomics uh, and clinical medicine, and the question is, are we there yet? And so we're going to take on several different topics within that. Um, the first talk is going to be on childhood leukemia and lymphoma, childhood leukemia, acute leukemia, and uh, acute myeloid leukemia, and acute uh, lymphocytic leukemia, and how we might use genomics for uh, diagnosis and therapy in those children. The second talk is looking at uh, clonal evolution and, and, sequestr and the problem of clonality and subclones uh, in myelodysplasia. And the third talk is on the genomics of an of a inherited disorder of uh, clotting and bleeding and how we might think about that and whether we're really ready to talk about patients about genomics. Uh, Dr. Abkowitz, if you would uh, give us an idea about uh, the hematology meetups and why yeah. they're important. So, so the meetups are also new this year. There's a number of things we're doing new this year, recognizing that the real reason people come to this meeting is the network. That we're an umbrella as ASH, and we have uh, clinical medicine, we have uh, science, and we have translation, and we're all under one umbrella. And we have benign hematology and malignant hematology, all under one umbrella. But among us are a number of sub-communities. And this includes little communities like maybe blind, diamond black fan anemia, for example, and big communities like malignant hematology, for another example. And the persons also come because they want to meet their colleagues from their training time, meet people they might collaborate with, and that the role of the meeting could be to facilitate communities who are part of us, uh, enhance their, their time here, and make it really a positive place for them to be. Any closing remarks, if you will, to kick this off for everyone? It's just going to be an amazing meeting, and I'm so glad that you're all here with us in New Orleans, and enjoy yourself.
ASH'S ANNUAL MEETING HAS A LOT TO OFFER EXHIBITORS AND ATTENDEES. WE ASKED PEOPLE WHAT THEY WERE MOST LOOKING FORWARD TO EXPERIENCING AT THIS YEAR'S EVENT. MY USUAL GOAL IS TO TRY TO GET EXPOSURE TO AREAS THAT I DON'T OTHERWISE HAVE EXPOSURE TO IN WHAT I DO. I'M A HEMATOLOGIST AND DO MOSTLY LYMPHOMAS AND TRANSPLANTS. And THERE'S A LOT OF OTHER AREAS THAT I'M CURIOUS ABOUT AND I GET to OTHER PERSPECTIVES ON THEM. It's a comprehensive program. It brings together all the leaders here in that field. Very comprehensive and definitely well worth your time to spend here to get all the information that's latest breaking too. Well, the ASH uh, convention is very shortly said the place to be because here this is really the annual international marketplace to get the news, what new compounds did show promising results, what will be the new standards in two or three years for our patients. Not coming to a conference like this, you miss out on how the field is moving, where the field is moving to. You can read papers all you want, but um, this is what this is where you get the up and coming information. So it is the premier uh, educational experience for practicing hematologists like myself. You'll want to stop by Ash Central before you start your day. It's located here in the Great Hall foyer on level one. Ash News TV's Rachel Kopchak joins us now with more on how this can enhance your Ash experience. This is the place for an attendee's every need. At Ash Central, you'll find the essential services in one convenient location. That includes access to email stations to stay up to date on your daily correspondences. There's also a comfortable lounge area to plan your day, plus an information desk to help with any questions. You'll also find free Wi-Fi throughout the convention center, along with remote session viewing lounges at each end of the building. Attendees can watch up to three simulcast sessions from either location. Be sure to stop by the ASH Resource Center counter to learn about ASH memberships. You'll be able to apply for or renew your membership, update your address, or purchase ASH products. Listed here are some of those products. These items are also available for purchase in the Ash store online. You'll find Ash Central in the Great Hall foyer on level one. You'll also want to head to the exhibit hall to visit the Ash booth, which is number 2501. While you're in the booth, you can also renew your membership, check out what Ash on Demand has to offer, talk to Ash staff, and pick up a little giveaway. The education session summaries are one of the new programs being offered by Ash. ASH is capturing an on-site discussion between session speakers for a select number of education sessions. These education session summaries will be available after the annual meeting on ASH On Demand at webcast.hematology.org backslash ASH. Here's a preview. We all have a dream now and that is to be able to control the disease within the next five to ten years. Yeah. To be able to control it, cure is Another thing, we are not so certain, but it's irrelevant because side effects are relatively small. And I think this dream now in our feeling has become a very realistic goal. I think that's the feeling of the scientific community in this field and you feel and you seem to agree. And I think that's exciting. That's exciting times. Both the Ash Exhibit Hall booth and Ash Central are here to enhance your experience. For Ash News TV, I'm Rachel Kopchak.